Hi everyone, so this is so sad. Conservative MP Sad David Ames has died after being stabbed at his constituency surgery in Essex. I saw the news pop up on my computer today and I was hoping that he or she would be okay. But then I've read the news and, um, well, he has died. If you do not know, an MP died not too um, long ago. That MP was killed as well. The MPs would normally associate with, you know, the people that they represent, that they work for. They would normally meet their custom twins at a regular surgery. He was the MP for Southern West and he was meeting um, at a regular surgery that he would carry out at Belfair's Methodist Church in Essex. The police were called to Eastwood Road North shortly after about 12.05 and um, paramedics tried to treat him on the scene but he died now who is the suspect we do know that a 25 year old man was arrested on suspicion of murder after officers arrived at the scene and they recovered a knife the police say that they are not looking for anyone else and that this man is in custody that he is a british national and from initial inquiries he appears to be of somali heritage we're not sure if this is um, based on terrorism or anything, but what we do know now is that counter-terror police have taken over the investigation into Sir David Ames's death. There were witnesses at the scene today. Anthony Filch, who was working nearby, he told Sky News, he said, we arrived to do some work on the adjacent building. And at the point when I was crossing the road, I saw an upset lady on the phone saying, you need to arrive quickly. He's still in the building. Mm. This witness said that he saw armed police and that there was an air ambulance and police helicopter. He said it's very distressing for sure. There was another witness, Lee Jodison, who talked to the BBC. And he says that he works for a local butchers and he was on the scene shortly after the stabbing. He said something like this doesn't happen, not in all the years that I've been round this way. This is so sad. We don't know what the motive is, but um, like I said, um, terrorism might be involved. But the police are normally slow to speak, I would say, until they're very sure. So whoever I say is allegedly. Dominic Caschiani, BBC Home Affairs correspondent, said, Scotland Yard detectives and the security service MI5 are assisting Essex police, but there's no confirmation that this was an act of terrorism. What that means is that they are keeping an open mind. At the earlier stages of an investigation, good police work requires officers to follow the evidence rather than inadvertently narrowing down the avenues open to them to establish why an attack happened. In the hours to come, murder squad detectives will be interviewing the man who is in custody on suspicion of murder. He was held at the scene and there is no suggestion that he was detained after any kind of struggle. Other teams will be going to the man's home to carry out a search and also downloading communications from any devices he may own. That communication evidence may be critical to establishing motive and mindset. Sir David, who was married with five children, served as an MP for 38 years. And um, he's been representing South and West from 1997. He was raised as a Roman Catholic and he was known politically as a social conservative and a prominent campaigner against abortion. He was also a committed campaigner on animal welfare issues and supported a ban on fox hunting. Well, I think all our hearts are full of shock and sadness today uh, to the loss of Sir David Amos MP, who was killed in his constituency surgery uh, in a church after almost 40 years of continuous service to the people of Essex and the whole of the United Kingdom. And the reason I think people are so shocked and saddened is, above all, he was one of the kindest, nicest, most gentle people in politics. And he also had an outstanding record of passing laws to help the most vulnerable, whether the people who are suffering from endometriosis, uh, passing laws to uh, end cruelty to animals, or doing a huge amount to reduce uh, the fuel poverty suffered by people uh, up, and, up and down the country. David was a man who believed passionately in this country and in its future. 
and we've, we've lost today a fine public servant and a much loved friend and colleague and our thoughts are very much today with uh, his wife, uh, his children and, and his family. I think what we need to do now is let the police get on with uh, their investigation and uh, I'm sure that all those issues will be considered in, in, in the, the proper time but this, uh, I think this is a moment for us to, to think of, of Sir David, uh, his wife, his family and, and our thoughts are very much with them. Thank you very much.